In this video, we'll get to grips with Monarch's mixer panel. Situated to the right of the oscillator panel, the most obvious purpose served by the mixer panel is setting the output levels of the three oscillators. This is done using the three leftmost knobs, while the oscillators can be muted, although oscillator 3 will still be active for modulation, using the square buttons linked to them. Monarch emulates the behaviour of a real analog synth by leaking a little bit of signal from each oscillator out of the amp, even when they're turned off or reduced to zero volume. We'll show you how to disable that later if you don't like it, but if authenticity is your goal, we'd advise you to keep this particular feature active. The bottom most of the three right hand knobs and its associated button mute and control the level of Monarch's noise generator, which is used to add noise to the tone, particularly useful for percussion sounds, leads and effects, and as a modulation source. White and pink options are on offer via the switch. The load knob is used to overdrive the output signal from the oscillators and noise generator into the filter, delivering gentle saturation of the warming rather than heavily distorting kind, and making the filter response a touch more biting. The valve lamp that lights up as the load is increased is purely cosmetic, needless to say. The feedback knob controls the signal level fed from the amplifier output back into the filter, then on through the distortion circuit, recreating the famous feedback trick of the Mini Moog where its output is routed back to the external input. Activate the circuit by clicking the feedback button and raise the feedback knob to hear the sound become decidedly tougher and more edgy. The switchable A and B feedback modes differ in their intensity, with A being the more aggressive of the two. Monarch's filter is capable of self-oscillation, which is usable as a tone in its own right or in conjunction with the feedback knob to generate all sorts of truly weird sounds. Mute all the oscillators, crank the filter resonance up, hold down a note on your keyboard and tune the resulting whistling with the filter cutoff. Activate key tracking to play it with the keyboard. Now activate the feedback circuit and raise the knob to enter a world of burbles, howls and screeches that interact wildly with the output of the oscillators. Similar noises can be generated by turning up the feedback on its own with no input signal too. Download over 30 exclusive plugins. Get hundreds of pro quality samples and power up your production skills with in-depth tutorials. We break it down for you step by step. 
and you'll see exactly how it's done in expert video guides and producer masterclass sessions with pro producers. Get all this and more with Computer Music Magazine every month on iPad and iPhone, PC and Mac, Android, and in print.